all day at home today while working people are out here just tearing up the pompano man i had the worst kind of fomo so i got out here right after work it is 5 35 i just rushed right to the beach and i'm just gonna fish until dark and hope that i can get on some of them pompano that everyone's been catching today and pretty much just walk straight out from the parking lot i'm in a, i'm like rush fishing today i just want to get it done and it actually looks pretty good we got a nice deep trough right here at shore and then a good sandbar waves are breaking pretty hard on the back of it i'm gonna fish right here in the trough past the breakers if one as far as i can cast and hopefully we can locate those pompano if these kids over here to the right of me leave i'm gonna move over there there's a rip current right there and of course they're swimming in like the worst spot they could swim <laughs> probably the best spot i could fish that's what's so funny about it but all good they were here first and gotta share the beach man you can't get mad at swimmers you can't get mad at tourists coming down for vacation they have just as much of a right to be here as you do you just gotta respect each other and share it and everyone's happy i got some leftover ghost shrimp this ghost shrimp's actually like three three or four days old now it's holding up pretty well i've just been keeping it clean water and on ice i want to kind of move these around instead of just spread them at first because i really think they're going to be just right behind the bar and i'll give those baits 15 minutes nothing happens i'll move one further out got a single dropper here go shrimp on them i'll put this one up close in this trough on the edge of the bar in the wash and all i want today i'm not even being greedy i just want one six pound pompano and i will be extremely pleased with that Yeah, that looks like a good bite. Nice. Oh yeah, head shakes like crazy. This rod's close in with some ghost shrimp. And I've only been here maybe 15 minutes. Yeah, that's a good fish. Good fish. Pompa no, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Or no, that's a black drum. Oh, he looked like a pomp. Saw that silver. And that was on the naked single drop rig with just some ghost shrimp. I get a measurement on him just for fun. I have no plans on keeping him. Yeah, he's 18. 18 inches overall. Beautiful fish. I think these fish are just so cool i don't know why i just think they're awesome looking fish this one barely has the stripes i don't know if you can see them in the camera there yeah maybe they're with the light and they lose those stripes when they get bigger the bigger they get they fade out and they just get darker and that's why they're called black drum but we'll get this guy back in the water to live another day see you buddy and in this chocolate milk water, I'm happy to catch anything that's not a catfish. Wouldn't mind catching some drum. Maybe we'll get a redfish. The reds really like this kind of water. I casted this one right over here in that washy area before the sandbar. I'm gonna put it right back. And I'm actually gonna, my other rod that's close in, I'm gonna put a ghost shrimp on it. I do not have ghost shrimp on it. Just kind of wanted to see what kind of bait they wanted first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks like a pop pit. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, come on. In that FOMO all day. Yeah, good head shake. Running sideways. Oh yeah. That's what it's all about right there, man. Trough. made it over the bar come on buddy be that pump i want to see that silver i want to see that silver
There it is. Oh yeah. Papa no! And it looks like he went for the just an orange bead on the bottom drop of a pompano rig on go shrimp. Oh yeah, just barely over 12. Nice, he's coming home. And that is a pretty pomp right there. He's just nice white, silver. Got a little touch of yellow on his fins. Just such beautiful fish. And they taste even better than they look, of course. But mission accomplished for the day. That's what I wanted to do, is just come out here, catch a pompano. Wasn't the six pounder I was hoping for, but the day's not over yet. Been having a lot of luck with this ghost shrimp here recently. I'm starting to think there might be something to it. I, I, I looked for sand fleas today, I couldn't find them. And uh, usually that's my go-to bait. All right, let's launch this back out. I've been eyeballing this spot over here. This is where those kids were swimming in the water when I showed up. And uh, before I move, since the sun's going down, I don't really probably should move. I'm gonna come over here and throw a rod out and uh, just check it out. There we go. And I mean, I do that all the time, especially when there's no people out here. Why not? You don't have to worry about anyone getting in your line or any fishermen crossing it. All right, I moved that rod down the beach and it went off almost immediately. All right, whatever it was popped off. No, nope, he's still there, he's still there. All right, I thought he popped off. Maybe not, I can't tell now. All right, that's the spot. I had a feeling it was a good spot. I might even hurry up and move over there. Cause that was quick. Yeah, he went, whatever it was, went for that ghost shrimp. Like immediately. I'm just gonna show it from the side. That water, all this water in the trough, it's moving over there and it's coming out right here it's really hard to see but it's like right in this area it's moving out you can kind of see the difference in the water past the bar the way it ripples i'm gonna race down there and uh see if i can catch a couple before it gets dark if something looks good and i'm not having like some epic bite i'll move down the beach and uh, it can really completely change your day and this actually is where I wanted to fish, but those kids were already there swimming and I'm not gonna fish next to kids swimming in the water. Hopefully this decision to move works out to my favor. Maybe I'll get that six pounder. Today it don't matter. It's so dirty. Yeah. They, they're smelling everything today. Reed, love it. Yeah, get out here. Channel. Justin Reed fishing. Justin Reed fishing. Right. Surf fishing Pensacola, you'll probably find. Oh, there we go, there we go. Nice. That looks like a good hit too. Oh yeah, head shakes. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe he's worth the move. I was starting to question it. Coming over here, no bites for a minute. Yeah, good head shakes, good head shakes. Moving sideways. Let's see that silver, man. That's what we want. Come on, be that pump. I hate to say it, I think it's a catfish. I just saw it splash. Yep, catfish. Okay. Dang, I thought it was a pomp for a second. That is disappointing. That catfish had some feist to it. He was actually swimming sideways and everything. And that catfish really had me going, man. Oh. Oh, oh, another hit, another hit. That's a pomp. yeah all right it's got some shoulders to it yeah good head shakes yeah that ain't that ain't a catfish right there just threw this back out oh man it's out there splashing dang something jumped further out Come on, what we got, what we got? I'm guessing 
some kind of drum. Definitely not a stingray. I love these Ninja nine foot daggers. This is probably my favorite surf rod. A lot of people don't like the nine foots, but I love them. They're just so much fun to fight a fish on. I feel like I have more control. It's just more pleasurable of a fight. And it's just user preference. Come on. This is the spot that always makes me nervous. Shore monster. Yeah, it looks like a red. Come on, there we go. Got him over the shore monster. That might even be a slot red. Just hold him there and that's it. No, he's gonna be too big. Yeah, he's, he's definitely too big, but I'll measure him because he ate the naked dropper, bottom dropper, and uh, I put a piece of shrimp on there. And these are number one owner Mutu light circle hooks. Love these hooks. Love these surf reds. They just are lighter in color. When they get in the bays, they turn more gold. Oh, he's feisty. Dang, he's strong. He's ready to go back in the water. All right, quick measurement. Oh yeah, he's overslot. He's about, he's like right at 30 inches. Hard to show with my chest camera. That's a sunset redfish. Great way to end the day out here. Well, I say that, but I got about 15 more minutes. Love these dudes. Oh, he put up a good fight. Awesome, we'll get this dude back. All right, he's pretty feisty. There he goes. Yeah, he's a feisty red. There we go. And the sunset's turning up. Oh yeah, that's 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 a good fish. I wonder if it's another red. These ninja nines are going off tonight. Sweet. All right, coming in, coming in. There he goes, finally standing his ground. What is this? It's like a black drum. Yep, a puppy drum. Sweet. I knew it wasn't a cat, but I couldn't tell if it was a pond. Yeah, these naked rigs are getting it done tonight. And that's on ghost shrimp. You can see the stripes real well on this one. It's a nice, pretty drum. Good little fight. Get this dude back, man. It's turning up right here at sunset. I mean, that sun's already gone over the horizon, as you can see. But the fish are still munching. Oh, big wave, big wave. See ya, buddy. And don't worry, that water right there is probably like three or four feet deep. I'm gonna move my camera to the other side so you guys can see the sunset. And then I'm gonna do a bait check on these rods. My two 12 foot rods, they've just been sitting there. Nothing's going on with them. I'm glad I moved over here, I can tell you that. That rip current, I knew it, man. I just, when I threw that rod, it got hit like instant over this direction. I was just like, I gotta go over there. All right, that's it, last bait check. Sun's going down, give it like 10 minutes. It's gonna be too dark to film, so I'll be packing up. So hopefully that six pound pompano is like on his way to one of my baits. There we go. Little drag, it's pulling pretty decent. Hopefully we don't end the night with a catfish. That's, that's the worst way to do it. All right, got some head shakes on them. Come on, man. Be a pop, be at sunset pump. End the night 
with a pompano. Oh, come on. You guys are killing me. All these dirty water days, it's just no way around it. You are going to filter through some catfish. And if you're wondering why I picked these guys up with my pliers. Oh, man. That was a good pull over there to get this catfish back. That's a good pull. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Perfect way to end the day, man. Yes. Good head shakes. Oh man. Awesome. Let me tie this drag down a little bit. Oh yeah, good strong head shakes. This feels like good fish right here. Beautiful sunset fish. I, I thought I was gonna end it with that catfish. I was gonna pack up and then this rod got hammered, man. And again, he's nine foots. He's nine foots have been the money rod today. Come on, I think he's in the trough. Hopefully I can get him over the lip again. He's about to it. Where's he at? I don't see it yet. Man, where's this fish at? There he is, there he is, okay. I was about to say, like, man, he's gotta be close. <laughs> Don't lose to the shore monster. Big wave, there we go. Got a lot of ground on him in that wave. Okay, one more good one. They'll dig in that lip and it's over. They'll get unhooked. Perfect, perfect wave right there. That's what we wanted grab this fatty oh yeah another gorgeous redfish right there beautiful he's got a couple spots in the middle of his body regular one on the tail a little bit of blue in there nice and on the naked rig man these bottom it seems like today all the fish are munching on the bottom i don't know if i caught anything on the float today and with these little hooks like this just take your time out here there's no structure this fit, the fish is not going to go find some spot to break you off on. Just take your time and uh, you won't straighten your hook out. If I can get it out, dang, yeah. Straighten it out, getting it out of them though. They will straighten. That's why you got to be nice to them. That's going to be the fish we end the night with. I'm going to pack it in. What a great day out here. Catching drum, getting some dinner. So glad I came out for that evening bite. That work FOMO. Paid off, man. It made me want to come out here today, fish these dirty water conditions, and catch these awesome fish. That dude ended up being 30 inches, same size as the last one. I'm going to get him back in the water. And uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and tight lines.